Welcome back guys to another episode of Marvel Snap. Today we're going to be looking at a Sauron deck. Here we go. A Sauron deck today. I'm going to try it with the Red Skull combination with Taskmaster, Shiri and Typhoid Mary. In regards to that I'm doing the classic Red Skull Taskmaster Shiri deck. I've never personally tried it too much so I thought I'd try it a bit on later today. Just a heads up also, I've tried three attempts with the Ronin deck on gold and I tried a Loki deck on infinity. Didn't win any. <laughs> Came down to the wire on two matches for the Ronin, but unfortunately didn't have any luck on that one. So I didn't want to record that because it didn't work out the best unfortunately. So today, instead, we're going to do a Red Skull Sauron deck with my brilliant variant 3099 Sauron, mechanical version, and I think that actually looks really beautiful. Love it. I'm also going to keep this overlay for this one too, because it looks quite nice. But uh, we're going to see how we can go with this red skull today, see if we can get it going. I might just actually change out Shadow King for... because that might bite us in the bum. <laughs> Armour. Excuse my language. And we've got the Zero, we've got the Ebony Boar, we've got the Lizard got Hobgoblin just in case things get a bit spicy and I want to see how this deck goes today and uh, showcase a bit of Sauron on my channel. So we'll see how we go, I'll see you at the games and I'll see you real soon. Peace. Alrighty, we're going to try Classic Ladder, we're not going to do any Conquest or anything like that. So I'm just going to get straight into it and we see how we go. Welcome White Rose and welcome to everybody watching. Let's see how we go. Okay, so we've got armor. We can play that first. That's good. Well, this is very good for us, actually. We'll skip turn one. We'll see how we go with armor. Ooh, the hub. Well, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad at all. The nightcrawler. Very interesting. Okay, he's playing Morbius. Bit of a discard type of deck. Fortunately, I don't have any enchantress or anything like that. That is fine though. Mm. We cannot play Ebony Moor or anything like that for now. So I think we'll skip because Nightcrawler is okay. Okay, we've got the Shuri Red Skull. That's always good to know. We'll do Nightcrawler for now. Always oh, got the Dracula. Very interesting. I think we could always go with the Hog Goblin on the left. I could be wrong though, but we will see. Red Skull will be very good on the left side. Ah, sorry, right side. Okay. Alright, looks like he's got a very good lead here. Oh, I gotta get out of there. <laughs> I think Enchantress will be, uh, well even with Enchantress I think we would have won that. Fortunately that's not our game. That's alright. Let's move on to our next one. So I'm deciding for these ones to keep most of my games in this time. I'm just going to run it fresh. No, Not much editing at all. Wins and losses I'm going to include in this one. I'm going to go for about 15 minutes. Because I spent roughly about an extra 30 to 40 minutes doing Conquest and it didn't go very well. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Actually, this is very good. Okay, this is very good for us. So we're going to do a cheapy variant of Nebula. I think that's cheapy. Yeah, cheapy. Ooh, Wakanda. This is perfect. Okay. We'll skip turn two. Mojo. Very good. I just need to get Sauron and we're all ready to go. Interesting. I think we'll go Asteroid M for armor. We'll see how we go with that one. I could have done armor left, but I'm not too worried about that just yet because we can easily just do Sauron because that works out very well for us. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, this is very handy for us. Okay. 
I think we'll go straight into Taskmaster. Ah, uh, sorry, Red Skull, that's his name. And then we can always try, if we want to, we can try Shuri into Ebony Maw. This is fantastic. So there'll be 14, 15, 16, 17, it'll be 18, 19, 20. I think we're in the good books for this one. Shuri Ebony Maw. This is incredible. Now, if he has Galactus, we're in a bad spot. Okay, it still didn't work. <laughs> I still bluffed him out regardless. I know Shuri doesn't work on the right to middle location, that is fine, but I wanted to bluff him to see if I could continue going. And it did. He didn't think we had Ebony Maul, and we got him. Wonderful. Good game there, guys. Good game. I've actually had a very pleasant day today. Everything turned out very nice, especially at work. Called my grandmother on the Sunday, see how she was going. She's doing okay, but still forgetting as much as usual. Um, welcome, Mana267. Welcome to the party. Raptors, interesting. But yeah, she's, she's doing very well. I'm trying my best to look after her. I did it again the last Tuesday. Helped him out most of the afternoon. Shopping, food, uh, what else? Some of the gardening. It was a bit hot the other day, but uh, we worked out the best we could have been ice cream, so that worked out very well. Let's do zero in the middle. Now, Ebony Maul, we'll see where we can play him. Oh, we'll go straight in the middle, I think. Go Ebony Maul straight into the middle after zero. But yeah, grandfather's doing well, and grandmother is doing well at the moment, so I'm actually very happy about that. Ugh! A bit of a destruction back going on here. Okay, so we've got Nebula. It's not the best, but I think we'll go Lizard, and then we'll go... Yeah, we'll go Lizard left, then we can go Nebula on the right for now. Sauron always comes in handy, just in case we get Red Skull, we never know. They may have not drawn anything, or they may also have a sneaky infinite on turn 6. We don't know, but we've only played one card. Ooh, okay. Very interesting. Uh huh. Then we'll go straight into the Red Skull. Nimrod, very interesting. I think I know exactly what he's trying to do here. Taskmaster's always very handy. I think honestly we'll do Red Skull Taskmaster, because even if he does Venom, it's not a bad spot for us. The only thing we need to be concerned about is Deathlock. Venom Deathlock. We can still lose this, but I'm always to give it a try. So yeah, the last couple of days, family's been very well, work's been doing very good for me, and everything going out in regards to that has been awesome. Oh, Anam Zola. Okay, very interesting. Okay. Ooh, beat him by two points. You beauty. Unfortunately, also, Grandmother's eyes have been playing up quite a bit, and uh, she's starting to see more things with her dementia. We're doing the best we can to work that out for us, but uh, unfortunately, it's just one of those things we take each day as it comes. So, as sad as it is, one day it may happen, but I take every week for granted, and I put them as number one priority. Welcome Magic Snare. Well, there's a snake for a minute. Magic Snare. Welcome to the party. Ooh, okay, that's good for us. Nebula. Welcome you also to the party. We've also tried seeing her with these uh, 
hospital visits to check up on your memory and brain functions, and that's been going, it's going well, but you get those occasional days where it just flips a bit, so it's a bit of, bit of a monit monitoring, monitoring stage, excuse me. This is very handy. Ooh, okay. Asylum with Mobius. That is very interesting to know. Now I know how that interacts with Asylum. Ooh, okay. I think we'll still go Shuri into Red Skull. Shuri into Red Skull is still very well in the middle. Looks like they're playing a possible Silver Surfer deck. Oh, that's fine. Wind, aid my hand. Yep, as predicted. I think I'll still do Shuri into Red Skull here. Don't worry about the right side at all. Because otherwise I'll be in big trouble. Ooh, hello! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Let's get them out of here. Even with a Red Skull at 28 power, we still beat Brood 777. Sorry, you played your Surfer way too soon, and if you had Shang-Chi, that would have smashed us. But it did not today. But yeah, we had a nice, lovely steak and kidney pie on the Tuesday. We also had for evening at dinner some a lamb roast, which was a very nice. Uh, what else did we do? Went out to the supermarkets, had a stroll around, look at different clothes for grandmother, and it worked out worked out very well. Oh, look at this! We can do Nebula in turn one. Uh oh, we've got a Loki day can come in. Okay, I need to be careful how I play this now. So we've got the red skull. I'm considering if we need to play this, but I will do it on the left side regardless. Aha! Uh -huh. I had a feeling he would do that. Red Skull will come and clutch here. Ooh, hello. Interesting. What I think I might do, really I should skip. But, I think I'm going to do that for now. Put some considerable power on the left side. Oh yeah, Asteroid, my worst nemesis. <laughs> That's fun. We all forget Asteroid M does that to us. <laughs> That's all good. Interesting. We'll do Red Skull on the left. And we'll see if see if we want to do Taskmaster or not. We'll see what the hand brings us. Very interesting. It's only turn four. We still could try and do the left side, but we could be completely wrong. I think we'll do Taskmaster. Taskmaster into Lizard, then we'll see how we go. Okay, had a feeling he'll do that side. All systems go. Alright, this is gonna be a very tough one here, guys. <laughs> Oh, okay, we could also easily do, well, Shang-Chi does stuff all the... I guess if you want to do consistency of power, we could do that. They could easily beat right, left with a certain amount of power though, so I think we just have to retreat. 
Yeah, we'll treat that one. That's not our game today. And that is absolutely fine. So today is Friday. Thursday and Friday's Monday middle work work day. On Wednesday morning I actually met a new neighbour, which was very nice. Met her with a new puppy walking around the parks. Spoke for about 30 minutes. It's nice to get out into the fresh air, get out to enjoy ourselves, and take a bit of a break that day from Michael Snap. It was actually quite a quite a cool morning. Starting to get a bit breezy on the Wednesday, but started to warm up quite a bit. Actually, this is not too bad at all. I'm not going to snap because I don't have any lizard or counterplays for this one. I don't have any lizards or uh, what's the names? Abnimals. Ooh, Killmonger. That could come in handy. I'm going to try this and see how we go. So, if we do zero into Ebony Mall, we're in a very good chance we can get that. Actually, watch out to see if they do have a Shang-Chi, but generally that type of deck doesn't. Ooh, very interesting. Armor would be very handy here right now. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the Shuri. Killmonger's not going to be a very good option here at the moment. I could be wrong snapping here too, but uh, I want to give them a bit of a get a bit scared here. Because that way we can do still Shuri Red Skull Taskmaster. We'll just go the Shuri in the middle. Then we'll go Red Skull in the middle as well. And then we can go Taskmaster on the right side. Because that way in turn 6 we should be fine. Aha! That's still fine. It used up in Shang-Chi. We're good to go. The bait has been successful. Can you please get off my screen? Thank you. <laughs> The baited Shang Chi has been successful. Oh, even better. Looks like we win that side, boys. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, if we want to do this correctly, we could easily taskmaster right side. I think we could do that. But I don't exactly know what they're going to play. I'm going to do it anyway and see what they actually got. Because they could have, could have something massive, or they could get another Shang-Chi. Got him! Victory. Beautiful. Alright, now that was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. I enjoyed that. Alrighty. We'll be back in just a moment. Now, that there, my friends, was the Shiri Red Scale deck. I've been wanting to try for a while on stream. It's pretty fun. But I'm doing this mostly just to express my love for the game, show you my thoughts on it, and also tell you about my daily life where possible with certain details. Not all, of course, but uh, express my love for the game, try out ladder mainly, conquest if I get a good run going. If I don't, I'm not going to post it because it's uh, not the best experience, I'll put it that way. But uh, yeah, this deck has worked out very well. I don't have any Taskmaster variants, but uh, if you're still interested in listening to my life stories and experiences, I'm more than happy to uh, express those details and uh, see how we go from there. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>